Hello mga friends! Kumusta kayong lahat? May bagong awareness naman tayo ngayon. Today, I'm gonna share with you what is orthostatic hypotension. Are you familiar of orthostatic hypotension? Or na-experience nyo na ba kung ano ang orthostatic hypotension? Orthostatic hypotension, it is a form of blood pressure that happens when you stand up from sitting or lying down. Your blood pressure drops and your heart rate increased. So what happened? You need to move slowly. Okay? What are the causes of orthostatic hypotension? Dehydration, heart problems, diabetes. What are the risk factors? High blood pressure medication, heat exposure, prolonged bed rest, prolonged of sitting with legs crossed and the knees. Ayan guys, yung mga risk factors. Kaya... Minsan guys, pag sobrang mainit, hindi rin ito maganda. Kasi sa sobrang init guys, ano nangyayari? We feel dizzy. Okay? What are the signs and symptoms? Lightheadedness, sakit ang ulo, dizziness, weakness, mm -hmm. blurry vision, fainting, confusion, Nausea, yan ang mga signs and symptoms. Pag na-experience nyo yan guys, you need to consult your doctor. It is very important na you have to prevent that one. Consult your doctor asap, okay? You need to, kailangan yan. Huwag maging matigas ang ulo, okay? What are the interventions? Since ang causes ay dehydration, we need to increase our fluid. Inom ng maraming tubig. Okay? And make sure guys, you need to sit for 2 minutes before getting up from your bed. Kasi mahirap na guys na tayo ay ma-fall. If we are going to stand up, after lying down, we need also to go pause for a while, okay? Kasi we are trying to prevent from fall, okay? You need to exercise your calf muscles bago ka mag opo, bago ka mag tayo, okay? And you need to sleep with the head of bed elevated. Napakahalaga po yan. And you need to avoid bending at the waist. Okay? Eat smaller meals. Okay? Wag large meals. Smaller meals. Kahit six times in a day, okay lang yan. As long as it is in a small portion. Use your cane or your walker when getting up. It may help prevent dizziness and fall. Pag meron kang problem sa orthostatic, you need somebody na sa katabi mo. Pag wala kang somebody sa katabi mo, you need to sit down, slow down, okay? Don't rush. Kasi kung nagra-rush tayo, the tendency is injury, okay? Now, Ano naman ang dapat nating kainin na ma-increase ang ating low blood pressure? Drink plenty of fluids kasi di ba sabi ko dehydrated tayo. So what happened to the blood volume? Reduced, okay? And that causes our blood pressure to decrease. Eat salty food. And also guys, pag mababa yung blood pressure ninyo, Get a little pinch of salt, ilalagay under your tongue. That would be also helpful, okay? And drink caffeine and then 
cut back on your carbs, okay? And balanced diet is very important. And then guys, huwag kalimutan na ito ay napakahalaga. Share this video to your family and friends, to your Facebook or to your community. This is very informative and makatulong ito sa kanila guys, okay? Can you have a heart attack with a low blood pressure if it is untreated? Yes, it can lead to heart attacks, strokes, kidney damage, yes. Kaya kailangan, sabi ko kanina, consult your doctor right away. Kasi napakahalaga yan guys. So that kung ano yung problema, mabigyan agad ng uh, treatment. And even, this can cause to a premature death. Okay? So, what time of the day is blood pressure nagda-drop? Okay? Be ang blood pressure normally naglo-lower yan sa gabi mm -hmm. when we are sleeping. And ang blood pressure natin Nag-start na yan siya na mag-rise bago tayo mag-gising sa umaga. And your blood pressure continues to rise during the day. Usually, ang peak time, mid-afternoon. Okay? Then, late afternoon and evening, ang blood pressure again, uumpisa naman siya na mag-drop. Okay, guys? So, I hope na intindihan natin yan. Ulitin ko po, kasi napakahalaga ito. Ang blood pressure natin, basically, normally, nagbaba yan sa gabi kung tayo ay natutulog. At ang BP natin, nag-start to rise again, a few hours bago tayo magising. And the blood pressure continues to rise during the day. And usually, the peak time is mid-afternoon. Then, pagdating sa late afternoon and evening, ang blood pressure natin again, nag-uumpisa naman nag-drop. Ayan. Kaya, napakahalaga guys na maintindihan natin ito. Kaya, kung meron kayong mga issues about your blood pressure, Kaya kailangan ma-aware din tayo at alam natin kung anong dapat natin gawin. Ano naman guys ang mga pagkain na high in sodium? Ito kasi pag mababa ang blood pressure mo, kailangan mo ng sodium. Okay? Processed food, halimbawa lunch, uh, meat, sausages, bacon, Ham, yung mga canned foods natin, mga deli meats natin, yung sa condiments, ketchup, soy sauce, yung salad dressing, yung mga frozen and max, uh, potatoes, uh, rice and pasta. Yung sa snack food naman na rich in sodium like pretzels, popcorn, um, <clears throat> peanuts, and chips. So, napakahalaga na kailangan alam din natin ito kasi it is very important, guys, na alam natin ano ang dapat natin gawin kung ito ay mangyari sa atin. Okay, guys, I hope ito ay bagong awareness naman tayo ngayon. Please share this video, please. Share this video to your loved ones. This is very informative um, awareness para sa lahat. Kahit nasa bahay sila, at least meron silang awareness na ito pala ang dapat kong gawin kung mababa ang aking blood pressure. Napakahalaga guys. Please be, please be kind sa pag-share ng, ng, ng video ito. Okay? And also... I would like to greet a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Cece. 
a Juby Madronero. Happy birthday, madam. Her birthday is on December 24th. If I, yes, December 24th. Happy birthday, madam Madronero. May you have many returns of the day. And may God bless your heart desires. Happy birthday to you, madam. And shout out to you, uh, Wong Yuzi, our international friend. Hello, baby girl. How are you today? And also, guys, ito yung mga bago, ito yung mga kaibigan natin. Kaya lagi na, lagi natin to sila, guys. Love, loving. Kasi napaka baby pa talaga ang kanilang bahay. Ma'am Lilia Reyes B. Blog. Okay? Roda Bagundol. Yams B. Blog. JB Martin. Mm -hmm. The Monkey Barber. And Cusina ni Mayet. Ito sila guys, mga baby pa sila. And shout out also sa aking inaanak, Harry. And um, uh, Ayan Ventures, Maddie's Cooking. And to all Team Gapangan. So, shout out to you guys. And then, also guys, to my brother-in-law, Mark. And my sister, Gladys. Sending to you our prayers and condolences to Madahan family. Condolence. Okay guys, please don't forget to comment below. Like, subscribe, and click the bell button. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.